My parents thought he was with me and I thought um, he was with them. Anita Maharaj's dog Milo was nowhere to be found in their house. That's when all hell broke loose. Anita's heart just dropped. She goes and speaks with the security guard of her subdivision. Anita says he told her he saw Milo walk out the gate. And this surveillance video shows Milo walking out the gate. Anita says she began posting Milo's picture on websites for lost dogs. After it took like all night for me to get him on almost every dog site there could be, a lot of people started commenting on it. And a lot of people started saying, Jamie Katz, Jamie Katz, Jamie Katz. This is Jamie Katz. She is a private investigator for lost and stolen pets. Yep, she's a pet detective. Jamie used her dogs to track Milo, but didn't find him. She then posted flyers. A few days ago, she got a call from a guy saying he and another man caught Milo, but they gave him to a woman claiming to be his owner. Another car that was pulled over, they said, is this your dog? And the woman said, yes. And Milo hasn't been seen since. Jamie became a pet detective after being scammed by a company that was supposed to be helping her find a friend's cat. She's at nearly 800 cases in a six year period. What's your success rate? We're at a 67 right now, which is really amazing. Jamie's next step is more signs of Milo. Anita says this has been a tough time without her Yorkie. So this is the, actually the first time he's gone away and nobody's seen him go away. All right, so we posted this to get your reaction and also get the word out that Milo is missing. And uh, our comment of the day comes from Rena, who is very close to Milo and is connected to Milo. 13 your comment of the day. Um, please, anyone, if you see our Milo, just call us. Begging for his safe return. Our family is devastated. Have a heart and please return our happiness to us. Jennifer Brandt, uh, a pet detective. Um, I thought it was just a movie. It's real, and I can understand people's passion. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all, Vinny, and I actually think it's a pretty good idea. Let's face it, the police don't want to get involved in looking for lost pets. They're treated as personal property in most jurisdictions. And I know from my divorce cases, people take pets very, very seriously, treat them like children, um, and the pet industry is huge. So why not have a pet detective, someone who will focus all their energies on finding your lost pet? You know, plus with the advent of COVID and people getting more and more dogs and wanting dogs and cats and all kinds of animals and spending a lot of money on them, there's some financial uh, issues here as well. You know, pets cost a lot of money, They, especially if you have a purebred animal. Um, so it would be worth your while to, uh, to get a detective to come and help you with that. Yeah, and Milo's extremely cute. Uh, Shell tonight, cute. people are so mean. Give her back her baby. Michael Bixon, um, if that scenario is true and the woman who took Milo under those false pretenses, that actually sounds to me kind of like a crime. Yeah, absolutely, and it could be. I mean, you, usually in most, and again, it varies in jurisdiction to jurisdiction, but probably looking at some type of theft charge, possibly animal uh, cruelty to, to animals or something like that. You know, unfortunately, a lot of jurisdictions really don't take these cases as serious as they should because they do view uh, pets as property. And so it's not the same as thing as obviously like a family member going missing, uh, but oftentimes the punishments aren't as severe as you'd think that they would be. Lisa tonight, I love my animals as if they were human. And, and they know I'm not alone because other people love their animal friends that much too. I even keep my radio on, on Caleb just for them. I don't think there's anything I wouldn't do if they went missing to find them. Legal, of course. Uh, uh, Casey, uh, it, it, it's, you know, they are part of the family. There is a, a, a connection. And, and to me, it's, it's almost treated the way we treat a, a lost child to a certain extent. Now, I'm not equating humans and animals. I'm not doing that. But I'm saying that the passion that people have and, and the way you see um, the animals kind of just being out there, unable to speak for themselves. Listen, animals are part of the family. I've even canceled vacations and trips when I didn't find the right babysitter for my uh, American bully that's 11 months old. So yes, this is a part of the family. And you know, I've tried many cases and I always hired private investigators to help me prepare my case for trial. But a private investigator for pets? You know, that's a new one for me, but this is definitely necessary. 
Uh, by the way, folks, I posted the story on Facebook. Please share it so we get uh, Milo's picture out there. So the more people that see Milo, the better the chances are that Milo can come back home. Uh, Deborah tonight, I pray she gets her dog back. They are our family. Jennifer Brand, how about um, uh, Jamie Katz? You know, your dog is missing. You got to call Katz, right? Katz will find your dog. <laughs> 800 cases in six years. This is a busy pet detective. Absolutely. I, and I think we're going to see more and more Jamie Katz detectives um, and those like her coming around to help find pets because uh, it's becoming a, a big problem. Pets are going missing and people love their pets. So, And I think all your viewers have attested to that. So, And David tonight, Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura will be so Proud of her. And we are. And again, we hope Milo is found. Hey, big thank you tonight, KC Early, Michael Bixon, Jennifer Brandt. Uh, awesome job as always. Thank you so much. We'll see you again real soon.